Hello everybody, Junkyard Dog here. Today I'm gonna do a video on how to change a uh, return line on the power steering unit that goes to the rack and pinion. I'm just gonna do it step by step. I'm not gonna go into deep detail at any given time. I'm just gonna show you step by step. So the first thing we're gonna do is take off this computer unit here. And it's got two bolts or nuts, right, one right here, and one right there behind the unit. Take those two nuts off, and then you can pull this out of the way. You can pull it out of the way and put it on the side over here or something. All right, do that first. I'll get back. All right, guys. So we got the... Uh, computer off of there, put it on the side, and then uh, that'll give you access to the return line itself that's connected to the uh, power steering pump. The return line is right here. This is always the pressure line. Here's the return line. It's got a little... Uh, What do you call that spring clamp on there so you got to loosen that up so that you can get it off of the uh this is where it came off of right here you just loosen up this, the clamp and then you're able to pull it off there okay so that's loose now and that's all you got to worry about up here So we're gonna leave the computer and everything off for now. And then we're gonna, next step you're gonna do, well actually I was gonna tell you, if if you're gonna be draining it, see mine was completely empty so I didn't have to worry about when I took the hose off. So, but if you still have fluid in your system, in the pump, then uh, gradually take the hose off, very slowly, until you see a drip coming down from the bottom. You have a catch pan under there, on, under the bottom. And uh, that way you can control the flow. You know, if you still have the holes partially on there, you can control the flow and, and direct it into your catch pan. Okay, so then that's that. And then there's gonna be a bracket on. I'm sorry, guys, bear with me. There's going to be a bracket holding part of the return line on the bottom down here. I'll show you in a minute if I can get these damn wires on hooked here. Alright. So, I'll point it out in a minute when I can get my hand in there. this big bolt that's going to the A-joint. Not this, but the one behind it. It's a flat top screw right there. Right below this line right here. Okay, right there where my finger is tapping. Now you can see it. Don't take this off, no matter what. Well, I mean, that, that, that ain't even it has nothing to do with what we're doing now. This is just a screw holding in a bracket that's holding part of the return line. So I'll take that off next. I'm pretty sure it's a either a 14 or 15 millimeter. I'll let you know when I come back. All right, guys. As you can see, I got that. I'm gonna say bolt out of there. It's pretty damn big. Pretty freaking big. I thought it was a good, uh, short little bolt, but it's not. It took a while to get out of there, and it's not easy coming in from this side of the wheel. 
if you think about if you think about coming in here going in there to get it out it ain't gonna work <laughs> especially if you got big hands so what I did was I put my hand behind the brake line and that way I was able to reach over and turn a ratchet a ra it's a size 15 millimeter uh, and I used a short extension with a short 15 millimeter and reached over the boot for the rack and pinion it's a lot easier trying to loosen it that way than it is trying to come in on this side of the rack and pinion you'll see what I'm talking about if you try it all right so we got that bolt off so now we're gonna put the wheel back on because I'm gonna put the car up on ramps and that'll make it easier for us to get to the line that's going to uh, the rack and pinion I'll show you that in a minute. So if you did this, gone this far, put your wheel back on. Uh, but you ain't got to tighten it super tight. Just make sure that it's not going to fall off the wheel because you're going to take the wheel off later to put that bolt back on the bracket because this, this is the only way to reach it. If you go from underneath, it's very hard to see. It's hard to reach. So you're better off just taking this wheel off again and coming from this way around the way I told you and done this coming from this way going that way with your ratchet all right I'll be back put your wheel back on all right guys so uh, after putting that tire back back on on the passenger side I got the car up on the ramps so you can get easy access to the uh, metal line that's connected to the rack and pinion I'm gonna show you the part real quick so just for 2002 Chevy Cavalier Compatible with uh, a lot of other cars. Oh, not a lot. A few other cars. So anyways, this is it right here. This is the metal part that the bracket uh, I took off the big bolt was holding this. Or I think, yeah, this part right here. The bracket goes there. And the bolt goes in there. This hose is going to connect to here, of course, and it comes with its own clamp when you buy the part it should come with this this is a new updated version otherwise this would be all metal too this would be a metal line but they changed it to a rubber hose here's the o-ring that you're going to place on the tip of the line that goes into the rack and pinion Trying to keep that clean as much as possible before you put it on. We're going from underneath. A lot of guys go from up top, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me because you've got to take a whole bunch of parts off all these parts just to get to reach under there. And I'm going to show you how easy it is just to put the car up on ramps and go from underneath. So this O-ring is going, going to go on a tip here. And then, before you put it into the, uh, the, the hole on the, or put it into its fitting on the rack and pinion, you're going to want to uh, lubricate this with power steering fluid. Because you don't want this to rip or tear. If it gets any kind of rips in it, it's, gonna, it's most likely going to leak on you. So... That's it for now. So get the car up on the ramps. Hopefully you have some. If not, good luck. I don't know. It's going to be hard to get it, get it out of there unless uh, you got some good jacks and jack stands. All right. So I'm going to crawl under the car and show you what we're going to do. All right, guys. Here I am under the car. There is the rack and pinion. Well, part of it anyways. And so, this is the return line right here, to the right. I'm looking up from the bottom. See, this is the tire here, which 
check for extra support just in case some cheap plastic things give out on me I hope not ever and then this right here is what you're gonna take off if you have these it always comes in handy to get those off give it a little bit of of a spritz with mr. wrench liquid wrench and then wait a couple minutes let that penetrate a little bit and then start working on it I'm not sure exactly what size it is let me see if I can find out real quick it looks pretty big Just put a 19 on there and it's too big. I'll come back and let you guys know. And you can figure it out too. Hello guys. Alright, so I got mine out. There's the hole for it it didn't come out easy it was totally rusted in there I actually cut it cut the line with some snippers yanked it back and forth a little bit and it came loose and then I got it out with the 18 millimeter deep socket so now we're gonna we got it I pulled it all out you pull it out from the back back here where it hangs down curvature part that hangs down right here you pull it out of there you got to kind of work it out of there a little bit because of the bracket that was holding it on up there so all right so we got all that out cleaned up around the whole area with some rags try not to get anything in there and then uh, take your part your new part and start working it in there the way you took it out Make sure you remember how you took it out. All right, man, I'll be back. All right, everybody, there it is. The line is on now. 18 millimeter, gonna have to put it on with an open wrench to tighten it up. And then, uh, of course, you put the hose that goes to the power steering pump up towards the top that's right there I don't know if you can see it damn it <laughs> all right now here we go this is from from the bottom looking up this is the hose right here I didn't connect the clamp yet I just got the hose on the on the lip so then now everything is connected this is tightened as tight as I can get it I'll make sure it's out of the way where it's not going to be rubbing on anything and wear out or get a hole <coughs> you can even probably tie it with a zip tie or something if you want but I don't, this area doesn't move too much. The suspension moves on the edges, so you ain't got to worry too much about that. But all right, so then you're gonna go get out of from underneath the car, and I'll tell you what to do next. Okay, fasten that that clamp onto the hose. Well, 
Put it back on there, tighten it. Next up. All right, guys, so we tightened up the hose clamp up on the uh, power steering pump. So that's all done. But don't put the computer... Uh, don't don't uh, fasten the computer down yet because just in case you got to make any adjustments you want to leave that off and uh, you'll be able to check your work better from up there after you know see if the hoses are touching the sides or anything so uh, as you can see my bolt is partially in the hole I worked it in there with my fingers first. Now I'm going to tighten it up with the 15 millimeter, and then uh, check the top again. Make sure everything's good, and it should be good to go. Uh, put fluid in it after that, and then test it out. Turn your wheel back and forth to get the fluid going. All right, so tighten up that bolt. And of course you had to take the tire back off again to get to this area. So like I said, when you first took the tire off, don't put the lug nuts on too tight. Just hand, hand tighten. So you ain't got to mess with that all day. Unless you got an air gun, that always helps. Alright, so tighten that bolt down. Alright guys, once you get the bolt for the bracket tightened up and the wheel put back on, come back up here and put the back on this put that there and then time to fill her up oh, there's some in there it's holding now it's all good now Tested it out, the wheel turns beautifully. So, damn! Across the 4th of July. Alright, so uh, hopefully everything worked out for you and the instructions worked for you. Alright, have a good one.